Ballades. It's time to do another match preview with you. Uh, we welcome you as we look ahead to Sheffield United versus West Ham 2pm on Sunday. So first question I'm going to ask you on this preview, is the cup win the start of something? Are we winning the cup? Is that it for Anel? Anel, I barely knew her. And do we still hate West Ham? Those are the big questions that we're probably not going to answer today. Against Gillingham in the FA Cup third round, William, United's Great Dane, said, I am a Sula, I am so cooler. As he scored two goals and the man from Denmark got off the mark as he brought home the bacon. Just like Denmark's famous export of Lego, this could be something to build on. Big James McAtee said, I'll have fries with that, with added sauce, and scored the other two in a convincing win in Kent. It's the Hammers next. Famous West Ham fans include Danny Dyer, both of them, Russell Brand, the late great movie director Alfred Hitchcock, a man known as the master of suspense. Will this game offer such suspense? No. Probably not. Now, I'm going to share with you what I think the Blades team will be. Here it is on screen. Here is what I think the manager will go with for the lineup and formation. I used the Fan Hub app to do this. If you'd also like to predict your lineup just like this and have it on a nice shiny screen, you can join the Fan Hub community with the link in the description or using the code SHE hyphen YC5. I think it'll be Wes in goal. Bit of rumoured talk about a potential new goalkeeper coming in. There was some chatter about Kasper Schmeichel. That looks to have quietened. Only paper talk and rumour around Danny Ward. I don't know about that one. Let's just say Wes for now. This is where it gets a bit more difficult. Who do you go with at right back if you're playing four at the back? Bogle? Trusty, Robinson, RND. That's my prediction for the defence. Hamer, Souza, Brooks, McAtee, Archer and Asula. Now, Asula, of course, I've stuck with him, rewarded for his brace in the cup. Now, it's highly likely that you could see a different starting two or just one up top. And Archer perhaps playing deeper next to McAtee. McBurney could start. But I think you want to possibly reward players who play well. Admittedly, it was against a team far lower down than the team we're facing on Sunday. Anel, too much transfer talk in the papers. That's why I've left him out. Bogle playing very well, so could start after his concussion. And Reese Norrington Davis looking ready to make that proper return to league action. He isn't going to get there unless he gets those minutes under his belt. Although, you know, George Bulldog wouldn't surprise me starting perhaps at right back or at centre back with Reese Norrington Davis not starting and one of Robinson or Trusty at left back. And then again, maybe ignore all of that and Anel will just play. Now, 2024 is upon us, which means a pack schedule of FA Cup, AFCON and of course Premier League action. Beat the January Blues and watch every game with the atmosphere it deserves down at your local Green King Sports Pub. Don't settle for a dodgy stream. If it's on telly, it's on at your local Green King across their huge HD screens. Also, if you download the Green King Sports app, as I have, you'll receive 10% off every single drink whenever there's a game on. Their venues offer a range of low and no alcohol options, so dry January doesn't mean you have to settle for a worse sports watching experience. Now, let's talk about our opponents, sixth in the Premier League at time of recording, managed by David Moyes and out of the FA Cup. In fact, not just the club, but Ben Rama, who was sent off in West Ham's defeat in the FA Cup against Bristol City, a 1-0 loss. Here's what I read online. If a player is red carded in an FA Cup tie, that carries over to the Premier League or whatever domestic competition immediately follows their sending off. So with Ben Rama, it's this game. Mikel Antonio, Jared Bowen, Lucas Paqueta and Kudos, Mohamed Kudos, were all out for that Bristol City Cup match. Uh, Kudos with 
Ghana at the Africa Cup of Nations. The other two injured. Some talk that Jared Bowen, though, could return for this one. And you'd think David Moyes would more than likely risk him if he was maybe, say, 80%, 90% fit because he's such an integral player for West Ham. The Hammers side that started against Bristol City was far from full strength and some youngsters were forced into the bench. Three academy players occupied the subs bench and the Hammers couldn't actually fill the bench. They were one short of the allocated nine substitutes allowed. Hammers fans, from what I've read, believing now is the time that they don't want a tough away match against the league's bottom side. The team that they played, Fabianski in goal. Will it be Ariola for this one? Mavropanos, who was at fault, arguably, for Bristol City's goal. Uh, Zuma, will he be involved in this one? Didn't have a great end. Uh, Creswell, Kufal, James Ward-Prowse, the set-piece danger man. James Ward-Prowse. When a corner comes, defender, Suchek, Emerson, Corne made only his second start of the season. Ben Rama, who we mentioned, he now won't be involved. Danny Ings. Now, he's strongly linked with the move to Wolves, but started for the first time since November. Could Danny Ings be involved again with the shortness, shall we say, and I don't mean height, of striking options? Now, the referee, we're going to look at this one, brought to you by Parrot Peel, a virtual band, and many of their members are Blades. They've got a new album out. You can listen to their music, parrotpeel.com, for more information. P-A-R-R-O-T-P-E-E-L dot com. Yeah, the referee for this one is Michael Salisbury from Lancashire. This season, he's taken charge of just 13 games, issuing 41 yellows. He hasn't given a single red card. I'm watching for that. And he's given six penalties. That's pretty high. He only gave four all of last season. He refereed 31 games. So I'm not sure what's going on there. He last refereed United's 3-1 win against Stoke City at the lane on the 14th of January, 2023. So here we are, just over a year on. There was a bogle brace in that one. Is that a good omen? Probably means absolutely nothing. Uh, player connections. This is players that have played for Sheffield United and West Ham. I always like to give you four player connections. Who can you think of? Please pop them in the comments below. I'm going with Don Hutchison, Wayne Quinn, friend of the channel, Ravel Morrison, and who could forget? Build a statue. Kyle Reed. My score prediction for this one, I do think this is going to be a really tough game. I don't think anyone's under any illusions. This is not going to be easy, even with West Ham's injuries. We really have to start picking up three points as many times as we can to have any hope of survival. Forget about any of that financial fair play stuff that you've been reading about. It's going to have to come down to us. We've got to get points. But I'll be honest, I don't see us winning this game. I think it's going to be difficult, even though we've had that rest since Gillingham and West Ham only played on Tuesday night. I still think they'll have a bit that will be difficult for us to break down. One all is what I'm saying. Let me know your score prediction in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel. Please check out our audio podcast. And I'd love you to join our Patreon as well. Thanks to all of you that already have.